Hello YouTube, I'm Private Dave. This is Royal of Tanks again. Uh, in case you haven't already figured that out. Um, I'm in my ISU-152. Uh, you're probably wondering why you see this tank a lot. It's because I... It, it's one of my favorite tanks, really. I'm not going to say it's my favorite tank, but it's 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 one of them. But, um, yeah. We're here on Ruinberg. Uh, pretty fun map. Um, interesting. Uh, so I'm going to go to this corner and do what I usually do at the beginning of the game and kind of just peek through this uh, little gap here, see if anybody's dumb enough to rush it out from my gun. Panzer and his Tiger 2 is going to go over to C1, D1-ish, or uh, that general area, and do what heavy tanks do. See that comet there? So I decided I'm going to go down this road here and support Panzer and see if I can get a free kill. Because why not? Here's a T32. I get that kill. 344 damage. Now, probably not worth it, but he was spotting us. Get him out of the way. Wait for my gun to reload. Now I'm going to move up. See if I can do anything or get killed on this corner here maybe. There's a VK coming down the road there. KV1S. I track him. Take a hit and he shoots me in the gun mantle and does no damage. Panzer finishes him off. That's one problem solved. Gonna see if I can get a shot on this T32. I do. That was kind of lucky though because that angle. He is very uh, dead right now. There's a VK behind us. I just now noticed it. I'm kind of freaking out, telling Panzer, "There's a VK going behind you. There's a VK going behind you." And uh, he starts to react now. And this is where it gets um, interesting. This could have gone very badly. Luckily, that T25 back there was supporting us as well. And for some reason, the T34 was the only one that really paid a lot of attention to us. Uh, like, where are you doing? Guys, where are you doing? That's a Tiger and a T25 too. You have a BL-10 pointing at your back now. Like, and yet again, they shoot me in the gun mantle. I don't know what they were thinking. He's kind of trying to drink there. See if I can uh, bounce a shot. I do not bounce it. He takes a big old hit right there. He's not uh, as brave now. Panzer is dealing with a Panther M10, which should be pretty easy. Their Yak Tiger 88 kills our IS. Now I'm gonna. I think the Panther M10 right now is backing up, so I turn around, go deal with him. He dies to Panzer. So now I'm like, okay, they only have two tanks left. Let's finish this up now. So I'm kind of cautious because it is a Yak Tiger 88, and he can mess me up with the British fire. And a little nudge there, T29, and then I get pushed by the T29. So take a hit from the Yag Tiger 88, T29 still sitting there. So that was nice. Lovely teamwork from the uh, the team there. They're trying to kill the Yag Tiger 88 now. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Aiming, aiming, and. Uh, 33 damage, so probably not worth it. Worth it. Luckily for me, that um, KV-1S takes a hit from the bigger arties, and I only get hit by the uh, the tier five premium French artillery. No, I never actually played that tank, and I think it's been removed, so I don't know how good it actually is. If anybody in the uh, if anybody watching this has the uh, was it left or whatever, uh, let me know how it is. Because kind of curious there. Aiming on this GW Tiger B, and that's another um, you can see cheap kill really. Now we're both on three kills, so it's going to be brothers in arms. Assuming we don't screw up horribly. He's turning towards us now. I'm aiming, and I whiff it. Oh god! Luckily, Panzer gets the kill there because I screwed up horribly and our what, T-34 
29 for a shooting panzer. So that's nice. Alright, moving on. So that was a good result. Yeah. I I mean, it's not like we probably carried a team or anything. No. I mean, their second player wasn't a left or anything. Yeah, yeah. That T-29 pissed me off. Oh boy. Yeah, that Tiger tank hit me in the back was pretty fucking annoying. Oh, you had one of those too? Yeah. That's nice. I like how he was so anxious to shoot at the Ag Tiger 88 that he was willing to offset my shot and maybe make me miss when he had the 90 millimeter. So even if he, even if he hits the Ag Tiger 88, he can't actually damage it. Yeah, I, I had the same thing with the Tiger. He was trying to shoot the T32 in the turret. Wow. So yeah, that's a uh, brothers in arms sniper for me. Ninety-two yep. thousand with premium, two thousand. 200 experience undoubled, I believe. Is that undoub undoubled? I think it's, I yeah, it is. So that's, mm. a, that's a good game. Yeah. Finally got another Brothers in Arms, which is nice. See, you know what we have to get now to just one up that? What? We have to get Crucial Contribution. So we have to cr kill yeah. 12 tanks this time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I love this mission, by the way. Getting 72,000 profit in an ISU-152, oh boy. Oh boy. Anyways, moving on. Moving right along into the next game in the ISU-152. I'm here with Hee on um, Hemmelsdorf. I'm gonna go to Death Alley, cause why not? And yes, oh my god, he is alive. It's a miracle. I can finally put in with him again. Now, watch that AMX 12T on their team, because he's about to have a very, very bad day. I'm not sure what he's thinking, but um, it's not like he's going to rush down Tank Alley. He's not going to be that... What? Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, yeah. He just he just rushed down Tank Alley. Yeah, yeah he did. Now, um, it was kind of a awkward game for Kiki and I because he did not he wasn't in team speak for this because he's just getting back and then he just after this game like a couple days later went for another trip so yeah he uh he won't be in another video for a bit sadly I I like platoon with Kiki we uh we win a lot when we platoon together uh not sure what this M6 is thinking there. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna angle my armor, guys. Hold on. Yeah, um, your armor's not gonna help you, buddy. It's all right. Kind of concerned there, cause I look over there, and I I'm pretty sure they can hit me through there. Our A20 is trying to trade shots with a low for some reason. That low's dead. One problem solved. He's going up to the hill. A20 is pretty much dead from trying to trade shots with a low. M5 Stewart up on the hill, so that's nothing to worry about. T69 is trying to play with us, I think. Kills A20, not surprised really. He's going after the, what, what was that, uh, Yak Panther? So I'm trying to see if I can hit him through this little window here. He's going to be dumb enough to pop out, and no, no. Now, I see this VK like running up there and there's an M6 up there as well. Now, there's the M6. Yeah, you're dead. So, that, that's uh, one problem solved. Now, I remember the VK. And it wouldn't be an ISU-152 video if I didn't, you know, one-shot another tank, right? Like, why not pick on the lower tiers, right? You have the BL-10. Now, right about now he's noticing me and going, oh shit, oh, oh I'm dead. Yeah, goodbye. Poor VK. Poor, poor VK. And now he's saying FY lucky BAS, whatever that means. Uh, that's not luck. That's actually a low roll, buddy. But, um, whatever. T69 thinks it can hide. It cannot. Sorry. Uh, you know where this is going to go. Yeah, you're not going to your armor or anything, that's not happening. 
just gonna move so the T-34 can kill him out, and you're dead. Alright. Looks like they're having a tough time on the hill, so that's usually a bad sign. Winning 7-2. Gonna see if we can kill a, uh, a VK. Funny, maybe. Now, I'm going for the Hummel. And... Kill the Hummel. Now, I'm reloading, plus I figured, you know, T-34 did most damage to the VK. I might as well let him get the kill. Unless he's gonna shoot the rocket. So, he's probably dead, so... I'm just gonna kill him now. Alright. This one problem solved. Ooh, that's a T-34 one. That's not good. He's going after our AT-8. Meaning, I should probably kill him to keep that guy alive. So aiming, 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 and dead. That's number seven. So right now I'm looking at the, um, the score and I'm telling he, you have to get a kill up there. You have to get a kill. I have seven kills, you need just one more. Now I see this T-34 and this, I, uh, come on. I can't resist this, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a mark. God, I love this tank. It, like, it has its moments where it can just troll the fuck out of you, and it'll just like, no, 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 you're not gonna, you're not gonna hit this, no, no, sorry, no, it's not your day. <laughs> and then it'll have games like this. Where it will just be godly and sadly we do not get it so that's that still a pretty good game 5,000 damage pretty much and uh, seven kills not bad not bad at all moving on to Lakeville so that was a uh, pretty good game if I do say so myself so yeah Made a profit of, um, 63,000 in my ICU. Not bad. Alright, so, on to the Lakeville map. Um, ISU 152. Nathung is in his Yag Tiger 88. And Hilo is in his Tiger 2. Now, um, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I was thinking about putting this into a video I did last week, I think of the ISU 152, but I decided not to because one, it it wasn't it wasn't a bad game, but it it wasn't a good game either. And two, I would I went on vacation, so I didn't really have the time. So there's that. Um, so I'm gonna camp middle. Not hung is gonna sit there on the right near those buildings and cover the middle and city as well. Now. I tell Hilo to go into the city because there's we don't have that many good heavily armored heavy tanks in the city. Now we kind of had a misunderstanding here. Uh, when I meant camp the city or go to the city, I meant go to the buildings on the edge of the city so that I can support him. But he didn't know that, so he uh, he rushed like deep into the city, so I couldn't support him. So yeah, that it, it didn't go well. It did not go well. Uh, now, the reason I like this spot sometimes when I play this map, I don't always go here, just to let you know. Um, it depends on where the team deploys mainly, but seeing as there's a T-30, E-50, T-34, Tiger 2 in like the swamp area, I figure they can handle that and they're not going to fail horribly over there. So I'm going middle, so I can cover, cover the middle road and I can cover the city and provide support to both both uh, flanks there. Now, keep an eye on our 704 there, because he's going to have a great game. Now, this FCM has a bit of a derp moment there. Now, I don't really know what he was trying to do. But, yeah, he's uh, he's in the water now, and missing a lot of his hit points. Our, uh, I think that's not hung, putting a few rounds into him, actually. Now, I see this Tiger 2, and I'm like, ooh, yes, is he going to rush into that open area there? Is he going to do it? Come on, please tell me he's going to do it. Yes, I think he is. Oh god, yes. Come on, come on. Yes. That's going to hurt. 
So now I'm just kind of waiting, see if anything else pops up. Ooh, it's a Type 59. Is he going to go into the open as well? No, surely not. Oh my god. Yes. Please. Please reload. Yes. No, oh, that's actually that was a pretty low roll. Huh. Now, this is where it's going bad for... Hi, oh, hello. As you can look at the mini-map here, so I can remember how to... God, resize it. But yeah, he was surrounded with no help. Um, bit of a dirt moment for me. Uh, recording the replay there. Anyway, anyways, um, so yeah. E50 is saying, holy shit, another fun game. Or a bad team. Now watch our 704, because he's done no damage up to now, this point. And, you know, instead of coming back to base to help us, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know what he's doing. Oh, oh, I'm going swimming, guys. See ya. <laughs> I help the team a lot. And wait for it, wait for it. The patented, patented retard comment of the game after suiciding. Wait, wait, it's coming. It's, you know it's coming. Kill the T-44. That's our first kill. We were losing 6-0 up until now. Uh, just wait for it. T-44 says, wow, well, yeah, you did kind of just get one shot. This team fucking sucks. Coming from the Object 704, which did no damage, and drowned himself. Yeah, I'm sure you are very qualified to comment, this team fucking sucks. Thank you very much for what you did to the team, you know. And even Hilo saying, yeah, and you didn't fucking help if I committed suicide, which is a good point. And you can see why we were raging. <laughs> I get kind of lucky there, I bounced a shot, which, depending on who it was, could have probably killed me, but, um, why would I give them credits? Oh my fucking god. You know, you'd be giving them credits, yes, but at the same time, you'd be getting more credits, and doing more damage, and helping the team maybe have a chance, and gain more experience, and there's a lot of positives to that. Anyway. So the T-34 and I are just kind of trying to hold off now. I see this AMX 12T and he could give me a bad day if he actually aims. So I'm gonna kill him, get him out of the way. Now, I have three kills, we're losing 510, which is bad. T-34 and I, and yeah, I get hit by the VX88, that's not gonna help me at all. T-20 here, I'm gonna aim in, shoot, damage him. T-34 is having a bad time right now. Our Ferdinand died. What a fucking, or what a bad fucking team. Yeah, thanks E50, you did a lot. You had the majority of the advantage over there and you still lost. Um, this fucking team isn't worth it. Thank you, Object Sound for you helped the team so much. I, I mean, is you did 6,000 damage, right? You, you totally did 6,000 damage like I did, right? And you held out to the last minute of the game, right? No, no. Yeah, you didn't, I don't have the after power resolve for this because I was so pissed I just the game after that and took a break uh, but you're not gonna be surprised to find out that he did no damage so yeah it's it's players like that that just oh my fucking god how did you get a 704 did, how the fuck did you get that tank oh my god anyways enough raging uh, moving on to the next game uh, finally thank god all right moving on to the final game this cl um, couple of clips here. Uh, Sand River. I'm playing my ISU-152 yet again, obviously, because it's an ISU-152 video. A Pogri is in his IS-3, which he's still trying to learn how to play, and we'll be training him soon. So I, I'm tired of uh, games like the Heartbreaker one. Anyways, um, Panzer's in his King Tiger, and. I'm going up here because why not? Why not? Now, this was a good game for me. Um, not because it was a good game, which it, it was a good game, but yeah. It was a good game because I finally got the Expert China Badge, which I, has been eluding me so much. Uh, anyways, so I see that AMX, seeing if I have a shot on him, I don't, obviously, because it's behind the sand dune there. Take a horrible shot there. You, oh, no, I don't. Oh. Never mind. I'm not as pathetic as I thought I was. So, IS3. That's 
Wow. Thank you, gun. It's not like I wanted you to uh, hit the hole into the turret or anything. Anyways. Ooh, is that WZ-11-14 there? Yeah, I, I think it is. Oh, thank you. A side shot on that. I could have taken another frontal shot on him, but I decided to wait and see if he would turn aside to me, which paid off in the end, really. Now, I see that WZ, and I, I can't pass up that, because, I mean... Now, that was the last tank I needed for the Expert China Badge. And the Expert China Badge was pissing me off to no end, really. And watch this, watch, watch this shot. I, I don't have a gun depression here. I, I kind of just move forward a bit, get a shot, and that's a, a really, really high roll, and he's probably regretting getting that high roll against him. Uh, anyways, so yeah, the, it, it was pissing me off, really, because I kept getting into games against that one tank right there, and I'd be in, like, my Centurion 7, which doesn't have the quickest reload on the top gun for it, so you can do damage, but you can't really reload. And I'm about to fail horribly. Not only did I shoot at an AMX 1375, which had five hit points, but I also missed. So that's that's great. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, it was pissing me off because I kept getting into games. I had probably ten games where I fought against them, and every single game I would bring it down to like five hit points or a hundred hit points or something, and then a tank which I didn't even see, which was on our team, would come out of nowhere and just kill it. And be like, really? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I had one game. Centurion 7. On, uh... Oh, God, what's that map? Um, the one with the magical forest and, like, the village in the middle. I, I can't remember the name. Uh, I had on that one. Uh, I think it's... No, I'm not even gonna guess, because I'm gonna fail horribly. Anyways, um... I died on that map, and it was pretty much one-on-one -on -one with that damn tank. There's actually two of them, now that I remember. And I brought one of them down to five hit points, and the other one down to 200. And I can one-shot both of them. And I peek up, because I got... I I got cocky, I, I will admit that. I peeked up twice, rushed my shot twice, and I bounced on the five hit point one. Artillery killed it. So, I took two unnecessary hits, I'm fucked up my two shots, which was horrible. I take a blind shot at the low there. Uh, I think I do hit him. Now I see an easy 8 there, I want to try killing that as well, because it's an easy 8, why not? Now if I get a good roll, I can one shot an easy 8. And that's always a magical feeling there. <laughs> you... The thing about playing the ICU, you live for moments when you can one shot a tank at full health. That's, that makes your day. Like that game with the the uh, 12T. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking trying to scout Death Alley there, but whatever. Anyways, <coughs> uh, back to what I was saying. So, I finally, I end up tracking the 200 hit point one. I'm waiting for my reload, and an E50 on our team, and I take that shot. Good hit, good hit. Uh, and an E50 on our team, I'm just kind of aiming it now. An E50 on our team, which was on the other side of the map, and attacked the magical forest, comes all the way up from that side of the map and right as like one second left on my reload bad bounce on the low there one second left on my reload and he rams it and shoots in it dies so that that was that game then another game where I brought one down to I think 30 hit points and then he got killed by a teammate so that was another great experience so um, at this point I was kind of getting desperate to kill a WZ-111-14, so, yeah. I'm waiting for that load to pop out. I take that shot right as he backs up. That's unlucky for me, and I probably should have waited, to be honest. Now, I'm seeing if I shot on the type, because the low's on 68. I don't, so I'm going to see if I can get this kill. And, yep, and just at that moment I realized I was shot on the type. God damn it. Oh well, that's the way of the game, really. So now I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. I'm uh, hoping the WZ re re like tries retreating to their base or something so I can get a shot on him. So that's that. Now, there's the VK. And I see Panzer kind of trying to push a lot on that flank. 
with low health, and I'm telling him to just back off and wait and let them come to him. So you gotta I'm trying to get a shot in this T-34, but he vanishes, and that rock is just not helping. Now, he pushed out again. I don't know why, to be honest. And I'm just telling him back off. I'm not really sure why APO was kind of sitting back there, but, yeah. Um, trying to get a shot in that T Type 59. Panzer dies to the VK. That's just embarrassing. No shots, still no shot. Ooh, an easy eight. That is dead. It wasn't a one shot though. Someone shot it beforehand, sadly. Yeah, I know. Disappointing. Um so now I'm just kinda seeing if I was shot in that type of D9 again. I still don't. There's a lot of angry tanks on that flank that wanna kill us though. So it's just worrying. And it we're not winning this. It's tied six six, so it, any mistake could screw us over. I take a blind shot there because I, I want to damage him to help the E-75 and them. Because just leaving him there is bad. And right there I get a good shot on him, finally. God damn it. You're going to have to excuse my um, my language for this video and the last one. Just seeing the last game again kind of annoyed me, I'm going to say. Oh, God. I... I don't understand what that Sona 4 was doing. I, uh, I don't know why people feel inclined to just throw their tank away when they think it's going to be a loss. Like, I, I've seen games where one tank has made the difference and the game has turned around. We actually have a video of that on our channel. It was one of the first videos we posted in our low. Yeah, a low. Turn the game around. I know. Ironic. Shocking. It happened though. It was amazing. Um, there's no commentary on it though, because before I had, um, I was doing commentary, so, um, I'm kind of annoying that T-34 up there a bit, hoping the, the WZ gives me a shot, and I'm like, oh yes, 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 finally, the torture is over, yes. Alright, now I'm shifting back to the other flank, because we have a KB-5 and, oh, I'm spotted. KB-5, APO, and another IS-3 over there. Um, get a good hit on that KB-5. However, I am spotted. Now, if I, I don't want to back up too far in that direction, because they do have a T-28 prototype over there in the middle, which could wreck me badly. So, uh, I see that KB-5 there, and I think I bounced this. No? Never mind. Okay, I killed him. I have two AP rounds left, two gold rounds, and two HE rounds. And, um, um, I kind of fuck up, really. I, I, I kind of fuck up. Um, now I'm on a good game. I have 4,600 damage. It's a good game. I have two AP rounds left. I see I only have two gold and two HE after this. And, you know, I don't really want to fire gold in this game. Like, it's just a waste of money to do that, really. So, you'll see when it happens. Uh, I still have two AP rounds now left, so that, let's just wait and see what happens. Hoping that T20 pops up. Now I finally, uh, in a minute or two, decide to grow a pair and just go kill it. So. Time to channel my uh, my inner Russian and just rush blindly at uh, enemy guns or something. Now I'm expecting him to be on the top of the hill, but I think he did fall back to like those rocks to my right, which puts me into a uh, kind of an awkward position, really. Yeah, there you go. Take a big hit. Then. However, he takes a bigger hit. Luckily, he tracks me with that second hit, or I would be in a very bad spot. 
And then he hits me again, which is bad. And he's dead. Actually, was it? I think the Kim 5 hit me, actually. It couldn't have been the Artie. No way. So I want Top Gun, but I don't feel like wasting gold rounds to get Top Gun, because that's kind of pointless for mine. I don't have a shot on him, so the only option really is to give you five. So I don't think I'm going to get up there before an IS-3 and a T-32 and all that. EA is trying to use some, um, you know, diversion tactics to um, try and help the team a bit, hopefully. Yeah, I'm aiming in here, I kind of, uh, yeah, not sure why I went for his tracks, to be honest. And am I going to get the kill? No, no I'm not. Sadly. And finally... Here we go. Um, pretty good game. I finally got my expert China. So that's nice. 6,000 damage, 5 kills. I probably should have just fired, you know, my last uh, APCR round, or one of my two APCR rounds into the KV-5, to be honest. But look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's damage, by the way. That's damage. Uh, that's disappointing. So here's the uh, results, as you can see. Not the most accurate, but eh. So yeah. If you like the videos, uh, like, subscribe, and catch you later.